Stand by. Here we go. Here we go. Casey, you want to select that for me? Name sure. and where you're from? Casey Spiegel with Paramount asking the generic question. Anytime you're ready. Oh. Casey Spiegel with Paramount asking generic questions. It just sounds Anytime. weird. Uh, <laughs> what attracted you to the project initially? Well, I've been a fan of Darren's work for quite some time, the director Darren Aronofsky. Um, so it was kind of one of those calls that you know you want to receive. You know, um, that's my phone. I'll best turn it off. Um, so, you know, that was a it was a an intriguing phone call to get. Um, and he said to me when he first called me, he said, "I want to tell you the title of the movie, um, but don't say anything after I tell you the title, and I want to make you two promises." He said, "The title of the film's Noah." And he said, here's the two promises. Promise number one, you don't have to wear sandals. And promise number two, I'll never have you on the bow of a ship flanked by a giraffe and an elephant. So that, uh, you know, it's a humorous beginning to the, a very serious journey, but um, it kind of let me know that he was, you know, he had an, an original perspective on how he was going to tell the tale. And in what ways do you feel Darren's vision is different from the biblical tale? Well, you know, that's, uh, that's an interpretive thing, you know. Um, you're making a rash assumption there that I would think that there's something different. Uh, <laughs> which I'm not necessarily sure that uh, it is so vastly different at all. I mean, there's just uh, an interpretation. There's um, very few lines in the Bible, very few specific lines, you know, um, that tell the story. So. If you're going to make that tale into a narrative for a feature film, you've got to fill in some of those gaps. Because the story of Noah in the Bible is sort of brief, um, there's not a lot of detail, what did you use to flesh out the character of Noah? Uh, I just reduced it to human terms, you know. Um, you know, I mean, you know, some religions say Noah is a prophet. Some people talk of him in terms of you know, having sort of superhero status, but he was, in my mind, just a man, you know, given a, a particularly um, heavy task and uh, quite a burden to, to carry. So I think once you reduce it to human terms, you know, and I understand, you know, why um, there would be an interpretation of Noah as a, as a prophet, just in the same ways that you understand it. In the Catholic Catholic religion, some people become saints, you know. Um, but it's, you know, it's the human journey that uh, I had to focus on. I mean, that's really all you can focus on. Uh, for the the epic scale of the story of Noah, Darren does focus a lot uh, on the family unit. Uh, how would you describe that family dynamic? Well, you know, that's probably one of the greater things about the film that at its core it really is a family drama. You know, there's this task to be fulfilled and um, a very determined person, somebody who's, you know, going to get the job done, as he says at one point to, to his son. Um, but, you know, it's very easy to talk in terms of being relentless in the pursuit of something, but quite often a uh, personality type like that is going to cause problems for other people, you know. So uh, I think focusing on, you know, the, the human aspects, the emotional aspects of the story is what people are, are really appreciating about the film. And that's why the response is so intense. What was your reaction when you saw the arc for the first time and in what ways did you feel it was helpful to work with an arc that was in the real life scale? Well, the first time I saw it was from the air. I went into that particular location uh, via helicopter because we'd come in from Ireland, uh, Iceland and that was the fastest way to get there. So it was kind of breathtaking to come over the, the top of that, uh, of that um, set and, and see the scale of it, you know. And it gives you a lot. I mean, if we were just poncing about on a soundstage in front of a green screen, it just wouldn't have been the same feeling, you know. To be able to stand on that interior set on the ground level and, and look up to the three stories and feel the scale and the, and the weight of, of the burden. I think it was, um, you know, it brought a lot to it. Without it, it would have been a, a very different experience. 
Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Cool.